Hi. So up to now, I've been showing you about the Shortcodes Ultimate plugin, and I've just got a couple of more little hidden things in there to show you. And we're going to continue with the restaurant theme that we started earlier on this page. And I'm going to add a, a menu, a, a restaurant style menu, as opposed to a web navigation menu. We're just going to use tabs. I'm going to keep everything at default. It's going to bring in three tabs. And let's just update our page and see what that looks like. Here we are down here. I don't think the CSS fully loaded. I'm on a slow connection at my present location. Let's just reload that. There we are. That's much nicer. So three titles and three bits of content. And we can click through to change that. Now I can go over here and in title one and put starters or appetizers. And second, we'll put uh, entrees. And in the last one, desserts. Let's update that and let's see what it looks like. There we go. Starters, entrees, and desserts. And now I can replace this content, content one, two, and three, with anything. Text, images, buttons, I can put anything in there. I'll just put a dummy image like we used in the last one, a dummy food image. And uh, we'll just make it make it rather small. Let's make it 150 by 150 insert update and refresh the page There we go. Now you see if I switch to entrees, there's our image. So it's a very quick and very handy way of making menus or uh, putting a lot of content on one page where you, you don't want to display it all at once, I mean, especially like in sections. So it's, it's very nice. So now I'm going to show you one last thing. I'm just, I'm going to put a note down here at the bottom, the note like I used earlier. And give it a different background color, uh, a little bit of a radius, and say, Monday special, one half off all desserts. Now I will surround that uh, with these same div tags just to div at line center to be able to put the text in the center. Update that. There, Monday specials. I have one half off all dessert. I probably would want to change that color. I just kind of picked it at random. But now, what if I don't want that to show on any day except Monday? Well, Shortcodes has this nice little thing called a scheduler. Now if I insert the shortcode, and it's right here, it's the last one over here, scheduler. 
and I can do it by time and it shows you an example 9 to 1800 which is 9 o'clock in the morning 6 o'clock at night would only show it for that time of the day you could do it by days of the week days of the month months like if I put in a, a one it only shows in January uh, if I only put in 2016 by the time uh, 2017 rolled around it wouldn't show anymore so I'm gonna put in one here for Monday so um, and content here so anything between those tags where it says content here will only show up on a Monday so I'm gonna take this tag and I'm gonna place it down there so now this is between the two and I'll get rid of my dummy text here content here now it happens to be a Monday right now March 14th 2016 when I'm recording this so you'll see over here that it will still show but if I set the day to Tuesday which is the two and then refresh the page boom it's gone and if I leave it alone it won't show up again until tomorrow or if I put it back to Monday it'll go away at midnight tonight and then um, not show back up until next Monday and a lot of things to play around with in there well that covers the tabs and the schedules of the short codes ultimate and I thank you for watching if you have any questions please just uh, leave them in the comments or email me and I hope this has been helpful and I appreciate you watching thank you